A lot of guys in this league are going to score, but just out there just trying to make it as difficult as possible. Put it all out there on the floor. And just the competitive drive just keeps you going. I'm trying to get to that next level. I like to make a lot of goals, you know, and you know, I just keep them to myself. I don't tell anybody. Hey, I put the goals in, my, in the notes on my phone. And at the end of the season, you know, I look back, I'm like, okay, I accomplished this. I was close to this. Last season, I said I wanted to become a consistent starter. I wanted to average, you know, at least 10 points per game. I wanted to win most improved player. I ended up averaging 12 points a game. I started all 76 games I played. And then, you know, I got some votes for most improved. Coming a long way from not playing to, you know, took the jump to the next level. <laughs> this is my sneaker closet. I'd probably say collecting, probably since about my sophomore year. And I really started collecting once I got to the NBA. I used to really be big in the snit, like the release dates, but now it's just, you know, when I see them is, you know, when I get them. I have a sneaker deal with Nike. Every year, and we get a certain amount of money at, at the beginning of the year, and we have 365 days to use it. So I usually don't use it for my sneakers. I use that, you know, for my family and friends. The rarest pair, probably the, the Red October Yeezys. There's no really special connection with the Just Dons. I just, I actually have more shoes back in Denver. These are just the ones I brought back for the summer. So continue to, you know, grow, probably try to double them by next year. The summer, you know, it's just about, I go back, you know, I talk to my coaches and front office and ask them what they need me to do. Like, what do they think I need to improve on? What I feel like myself needs to improve on. And, you know, I, I do a lot of watching film, you know, little bits and pieces from each game, like, and just figure out where I can apply it to my game to help make me more successful. Because I remember in school, they was like, you have a better chance of winning the lottery than make it to the NBA. And I mean, as, as a kid, I had a sign in my room and it said, what did you do today to get to the NBA? You know, it was crazy because, you know, after, you know, I got drafted, you know, I came home, I was still with my parents. And I see that sign in my bedroom, it's just like, wow. You know, just if you believe it, and you know, I feel like anything is possible. I just keep pushing and getting better. And then, you know, when you get, once you get the opportunity, you capitalize on it.